Hey guys, welcome. And in this video, I am going to discuss about a very important name reaction that is Bailey Silman reaction. Okay. So, Bailey Silman reaction. Now, this reaction is particularly important in organic synthesis because uh, in this uh, why it is important you will be observed after uh, knowing the outcome of the reaction okay so the reaction is a use of DAPCO so DAPCO is basically this compound okay this is DAPCO 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 means uh, dye so dye as a bicyclo octane okay dye as a bicyclo octane uh, this is called DAPCO or you can you can write as 1 4 dye as a 1 4 dye as a uh, 2 2 2 bicyclo octane right 1 2 1 4 die as a 2 2 2 bicyclo octane so 1 4 you can number as 1 2 3 4 this is 1 4 and this is a octane because 8 carbons are there so 1 2 1 4 die as a uh, 2 2 2 bicyclo octane right this is the main catalyst for your Bayless Hillman reaction now what is the reaction the reaction is Mm, you have acetaldehyde and ethyl acrylate this type of compounds are called acrylate this this is called acryloid right this uh, particular compound where you have alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl group so this is called ethyl acrylate and when you uh, react this to in presence of DAPCO you will get this one right so attack is occurring from this particular center to this okay so this is the center is here electrophilic and this center is nucleophilic right but if you if you uh, observe the structure of ethyl acrylate carefully you can have resonance structure like this okay so actually there is a positive charge and this negative charge can attack here right so if you have resonance so this is a nucleophilic center but and in this reaction uh, the nucleophilicity of this particular center is used but how can you, you uh, but how this is occurring that that is the main uh, mechanism of the bailey hillman reaction so let us write down the mechanism so this is your ethyl acrylate right and uh, as you have i have shown uh, write down the structure of dapco i can also write it like this okay so this is your DAPCO now if you compare this with a normal uh, tertiary amine with this ethyl substituents right so this ethyl substituents then you can see that the, this amine will prefer to exist like this right although it will be pyramidal but due to the steric hindrance of these three ethyl groups it will be no, it will not be in this form it will be it will be flatter more flatter although it will be pyramidal but the pyramid will be flatter but in this case this ethyl groups are tightly bound in two sides right and that's why this nitrogen lone pair is exposed okay so uh, compared to this nitrogen lone pair this nitrogen lone pair is much more exposed and this makes this uh, nitrogen uh, nitrogen more nucleophilic and if you uh, know about the uh, back strain uh, the back strain is not there because 
its back is already uh, already tied uh, in a particular position but in this case back strain is there because when it act as nucleophile and form a bond then this center will be tetrahedral and then this nitrogen and then this ethyl groups will be more proximate and that's why create steric hindrance so that's why this BAPCO is a very good nucleophile so what is the consequence is that this DAPCO can attack here so it will attack in a 1 4 manner and that will give you this enolate ok so you are getting this enolate this is your enolate now you have acetaldehyde molecules in your medium and this enolate can attack on acetaldehyde to give you this one so one two one two right now right so this is your intermediate now what can happen there are uh, there are base uh, many bases present in the medium one base can be this negative charge or another DAPCO molecule can act as base so I am writing the base in general so base can abstract this proton and it will analyze so you will be getting this again a enolate will be generated right okay and now when this enolate come back this can act as living group so this uh, positive charge on nitrogen atom of DAPCO can act as living group and by this U1CB elimination you will be getting this compound sorry here it will be negative charge okay so this is the mechanism of the reaction uh, so apparently what you are getting overall so in the reaction sequence you are getting overall from your acetaldehyde and your ethyl acrylate you are getting this alpha beta unsaturated alpha beta unsaturated uh, L uh, sorry alpha beta unsaturated ketone as well as there is a um, OH group right so this compound you are getting so particularly you are activating this hydrogen you are activating this hydrogen to functionalize it right and uh, in normal case if you do aldol with this uh, let's say you are you have to prepare so when you react this you have to prepare a uh, so this is a company you have to prepare a enolate equivalent enolate equivalent of this so here will be negative charge and then you will be getting this particular compound and after that to uh, make here a negative uh, here a double bond it is very difficult because if you do elimination reaction it will always place a double bond here to make here double bond it is very difficult in normal aldol reaction so that's why in this case you have to use this uh, Bailey's Hillman reaction like if you have this type of compound let's say you have to prepare maybe CH2R right and how how will you prepare it so you, you can have a retro like this so this plus are any living group let's say BR okay so when you use DAPCO DAPCO will first attack here and it will generate this type of enolate equivalent right and this enolate can attack on this to give you this compound right so this is a very important compound very important name reaction to give you this type of uh, product 
and in this case uh, the reaction so only bad thing about the reaction is that it takes very um, long time so the uh, for this particular example it takes around seven days okay but it is a very simple reaction and dapco is catalyst in this case because i showed that in the last step the dapco is recovered after u1 cd elimination reaction so uh, two for two points you have to uh, uh, two points which you have to remember here is that one uh, dapco is a very good nucleophile and second uh, the same dapco is a very good leaving group so this type of this dapco in uh, containing nitrogen positive charge why it is a very good leaving group because if you uh, if you look at the pk value of this uh, of this of conjugate acid of this dapco it is around 8.8 .8. so this low pk value means it is a good acid and that means this is a good leaving group right uh, the the pk value of of a base or a leaving the the pk value of a conjugate acid of a base or a leaving group if it is lower that means it is a good leaving group and that's that is making this dapco a good leaving group so the combination of these two factors the good leaving group ability and good, good nucleophilicity uh, makes this reaction to happen so uh, many questions come from this reaction and people um, cannot identify which reaction is this so you have to familiar with this reaction and i hope this reaction will be helpful for you so if you like the video then give a thumbs up and thank you for watching